Accidents by City of Detroit bus drivers have cost some victims their lives, and they've cost taxpayers millions. But tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones uncovering how even when bus drivers do everything right in an accident, it can still end up costing you plenty. I was in, in a coma for seven months. They didn't think I was going to make it. Jesse Payne is one of the handful of men and women injured every year by a City of Detroit bus. And as we showed you last night, allegations of bus driver negligence have cost the city millions in just the last couple of years. But with some accidents, it doesn't matter who's at fault. As our investigation has uncovered, the city pays, even if it did everything right. Near the corner of Gratiot and Shane, a Detroit bus was parked at this bus stop while passengers climbed aboard. But while they were taking their seats, a Chevy Impala came out of nowhere, rear-ending the bus and injuring two of the riders on board. Like many men and women who ride buses in Detroit, neither had insurance. And in Michigan, when you get in an accident, even as a passenger, it's your insurance that covers your no-fault benefits. City didn't do anything wrong. Correct. Driver didn't do anything wrong. Correct. Who pays the no-fault benefits? The city. The city pays those. That one accident at Gratiot and Shane has cost taxpayers more than $42,000 so far. The result of a little known but costly quirk in Michigan's no-fault automobile insurance that comes at a cost to taxpayers. It happens because when bus passengers who don't carry insurance are injured on a city bus, responsibility for their no-fault benefits falls to the bus's owner. In other words, you and me. It affects every city in the state, but in Detroit, where up to 60% of residents have no auto insurance, it means a small fortune. So every year, the city is paying millions of dollars for somebody else's mistakes. Oh, that, that's true. Of the almost $17 million paid out by Detroit taxpayers after bus accidents since 2015, city officials estimate that maybe half stems from no-fault claims, regardless of whether the city did anything wrong. It's probably a whole in the Essential Insurance Act. Butch Hollowell heads the city's law department and helped write the no-fault reform legislation currently making its way through Lansing. The legislation aims to cut the cost of insurance by 25 to 50 percent. If it works, Hollowell says that more residents, including bus passengers, will be insured. And when passengers do get hurt, they'll be more likely to carry insurance and you and I won't be paying the bill. That'll be good for not just the city of Detroit, but all Michigan. Even though there's support from both Republicans and Democrats, the no-fault reform bill still has plenty of opponents. They say that while it could help lower rates, the quality of care for those hurt will fall. Right now, the bill is still in committee. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank